Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another quick vlog. In this video I'm going to explain about some of my wall art that's up there. Uh, in my last, in my painting video I had a lot of people ask on Twitter uh, what were the photographs? I never thought they'd generate so much interest so I thought I'd uh, just run through them. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's all remember, let the Wookiee win. Right, well there's various little bits of uh, photographs and uh, various drawings on the wall. Some mean a hell of a lot to me as I'll go through shortly. Right, well the first picture, that is a picture of an old car of mine, uh, a Skoda Estelle. Um, and it's when we went on holiday with there's me and two of my mates who was in the Skoda Club. We took a trip over to the Czech Republic and that's parked outside the... Uh, Skoda Museum at Milada Bolslav. But uh, yeah, we drove all the way over there. It's a little 1.25 speed and God bless, as you can see what we were like back then. And it took us all that way. That poor car did a hell of a lot of miles. I think it was nearly 2,000 miles in a week and it took all of our belongings and luggage and gifts that we brought back and it really did a sterling job. It, uh, it really was good. So, as I've just mentioned, there's my friends, uh, who I went with. Uh, I'm not going to mention the names, obviously, but, uh, you know, it, it was a good time, that, back uh, before everything was uh, a little bit different in the world. Next picture. That's me and the late, great John Cooper. Uh, that must have been 1994, I think it was. My then girlfriend uh, arranged it for us to go down to his dealership. Um... And I had, I think it was about three quarters of an hour where I was just talking to him. And he was a, a very, very lovely guy to talk to. And at the end of it, he says, come on, let's go do some photographs with the cars because that's that's what we all like. Uh, yeah, lost to the world is when he died anyway. And another picture with my two friends. That's outside the Skoda Museum again in the car park. My Skoda is still again. And another one of me and John Cooper. And then, that would be 1992, I think it was the Minnie's 40th birthday, I'll have to see when that was. But uh, that was at Silverstone. Uh, yeah, for the Minnie's 40th birthday, was, uh, there was a convoy of us drove down, and uh, that was a really, really fun time, I miss doing that. And this is one of my favourite pictures, that's myself on the left, and my dad, quite a few years ago now that. But uh, yeah, very treasured photograph. I, I really miss my dad, he's no longer here. And, a do reflection. Another picture of my dad before he died. That was about two weeks before he died. He'd always wanted a brand new car and he got one on mobility. And that's him very proud. He drove around everywhere. Uh, just showing everybody his new car. You see that's in 2006 model. But yeah. And... Another one of me and John Cooper, as previously said, that's when I had more hair, look. I had a good bit of hair back then. And then these are the puppies. There's Istis, Indy and Diamond. Brilliant dogs, them. Right, this photograph, uh, no, this picture, that was done, oh, must be 91, 92. It was done for a charity event. It cost me a fiver back then. And all money went to charity. The guy donated his time. Um, I, I really love that photograph because I did used to have the centre part in, not like now. Hmm. I did used to have the centre part in and the big aviator star glasses and he's even captured my little bum chin. And I did have stubble back then, yes. <laughs> but that jacket, I, I owned up to last year and then I sold it and I, I really wish I didn't now because it was a huge uh, link to my past. And then this canvas... That was done by uh, Amanda Linda Photography. Uh, we went out one night and we took a load of photographs and I just managed to capture a photograph of my car because it just looked really, really mean and moody. And then she took that for me and she had it printed out and God bless her, it looks a brilliant photo a photograph. So I'll put a link to her Twitter page uh, in the description um, in a moment so you can go and have a look at some of her work. She is actually a published photographer. 
so she's going to be uh, I'm hoping there's going to be a book of her photographs coming up shortly but she's really really talented so uh, yeah worth looking out for worth following her on Twitter right this one that's me and the Skoda again now, that photograph was actually took by my dad so it's, as you can understand that is a very treasured uh, photograph there but uh, yeah I miss that car as I said before and this photo, uh, uh, this picture, that was done in Prague in 2006 on the Charles Bridge by a guy that was very hungover. But I love the uh, the picture; it's absolutely brilliant. And um, yeah, the hair's gone a little bit more there, but uh, since then, but yeah, absolutely love uh, love that drawing. It's uh, it's wonderful. So yeah, that's my wall art. So, uh, love having these things on the wall. Never really had them until recently, but uh, yeah, got everything together. There's going to be some more coming up. So, who knows? Might be doing another vlog on that. Right, guys, there you go. Who knew a few photographs on the wall could be so interesting? Or boring, I don't know. Just a few people asking what it was all about. Um, so, yeah, hope you found the video interesting. If you did, Give it a like, give it a comment, maybe even give it a share. I don't know, whatever you want to do. But anyway, thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate it. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.